What's up, YouTube world? I want to talk to you guys tonight about six interview questions to assess emotional intelligence when hiring employees. Despite what you might have thought, come to believe, after sorting through the internet's seemingly bottom Let's start all over. Despite what you might have come to believe after sorting through the internet's bottomless piles of articles on the subject, emotional intelligence is more than just a buzz word. The ability to empathize with others, build lasting relationships, manage emotions in a healthy way has been proven time and time again. Let's see. Forget about all the guru stuff. What is your greatest weakness? Oh, I don't know. Let's find out. Well, I just care too darn much about my work. Okay. That's important. Six interview questions that are essential emotional intelligence. One, can you tell me about a time you tried to do something and failed? Okay, that's pretty important. Tell me about a time, this is number two. Tell me about a time you received a negative feedback from your boss. How did that make you feel? Okay, that makes sense. Now number three. Number three. Can you tell me about a uh, conflict at work that made you feel frustrated? And how did you handle it? Remember, these are questions that you should be asking your employees so you have a good idea of their emotional intelligence. So number four. Tell me about a hobby you like to do outside of work, you can teach me about it. So, well, let's see, I like kayaking, canoeing, outdoors in general. What would you, what would your co-workers say is the most rewarding thing about working with you? What about the most challenging thing to work with you? So that's number five. Going on to number six. Can you tell me about a time you needed to ask for help on a project? Oh, let's see. Emotional intelligence are people are self-confident without being overconfident. They have a realistic understanding of their own strength and uh, limitations. And they aren't afraid to admit what they don't know. They know that asking for help and corroborate and working with others is a sign of strength, not weakness. So it's impor important to know that when you have the ability to interview your new hires, your new managers, your new uh, team leads, your project managers, whatever it might be, that you're trying to detect their emotional intelligence, how they can handle a situation without blowing up, without getting mad, without taking it the wrong way, without being Mr. Negative Attitude after they didn't get their way. Um, it's important to be empathetic in the way that you handle stuff, especially dealing with uh, women clients. Most of the time, uh, women clients are going to be emotional and that's going to change the husband's overall decision. Um, if she feels comfortable with you, the husband feels comfortable with you as a company and you win the bid. It's really interesting how emotional intelligence can be something that helps you win more bids and find excellent employees. 
If you like the video, give it the big thumbs up. Spread the word. Spread the chair. Check us out on Patreon and other social websites. And thanks again.